step carefully in the forest. As the tree roots into the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the fall. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, beside this hill he crafts from sand.
I knew neither of them would face me himself. Who sent you? Was it Delph? Agna? So, you're here on behalf of Delph, that traitorous sow. I gather you're here to send a message as well. Let me guess. Blood has been paid for his crimes. What Delph doesn't realize is that the blood right is a privilege of the Red Legion. And he lost that privilege when he betrayed us. The choice is yours, stranger. Throw your lot in with a monk and his coward god, or work for me. At least I will pay you for your trouble. Unwise. Some of us are richer than kings. If you're not with us, you're against us. The Red Legion drinks the blood of its enemies. I asked you a question. <laughs> <laughs>
explore the mission and introduce yourself to the brothers. They will be very pleased to meet the hero who brought back our beloved Egan. It's done? I don't know how I feel. It's... it's like... like the end of a long nightmare. How can I ever thank you? I took up a collection around the mission. I lied and said it was for charity, but... you understand. The others can never know. Thank you. See you soon. Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the order. 
Matharu does embrace all. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Matharu. Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers. Welcome. Come in. You wouldn't believe how busy we've been since that Fay arrived.
see me again. Doesn't like loafers. You're welcome in my shop anytime, and please enjoy a discount on all services and merchandise. Farewell.
On the third year of passage, Tyrion entered Dalantarth. In dark wood and fainy field she strode, until from wandering she was taken to the roots of mighty Velagru's child. So laden with lyric. I say, isn't there anything we can do about all this uncivilization in these lands? We have magic and weapons. Should be easy work. But you could fit the bill. I'm part of an expedition to the teeth of Naros. And we need another to come with us on the journey. It's as I said, we are going to the unexplored land south of Dalentorth. They're said to house unimaginable wealth. Our coffers will thank us when we get there. If you need more information, find our camp near Ettenmere and speak to our leader, Helic. Hmm. Lord Ferrara, valiant warrior, destroyer of Enfamenir, Duke of the Hylarans, protector of the Ring of Kiozai, discoverer of the island of Meropis, were he only to meet a better end. Oh, my God. 
It's good you're here. I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. Welcome to the ruins of Delok. Yes. It doesn't look like much, but in these ruins lies the theater of fate. The ancient home of the Fate Weavers. Come with me. No telling what we'll find down there. It's the ruins of the Theater of Fate. This is where the first Fate Weavers learned how to read the Weave. They left their wisdom behind in the Destiny Stone. I'm hoping that the stone will tell me who you are. In we go. Ever since this place was abandoned, strange beasts have moved in. Stay close.
keep quiet. We aren't safe here. This place has been abandoned for so long that some fate weavers think it's just a legend. Theater can show us the whole tapestry of fate laid bare. We can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can't. Oh, my God. 
After all those years of hiding in a bottle, it's good to see some action again. If only one last time. Stay close.
Almost there, or at least as far as I can take you. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. Supposed to. Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do, children of his that won't be born, victims that won't die when they were supposed to. Yes, I'm aware. But there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. Theater of Fate. I never thought I'd see it.
We fate weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. <laughs> Gods, I should have brought another bottle. No surprise a Niskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch, and all around you the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there at the core was the Codex of Destiny, the wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? Ha! Ah! A small price to pay for the Codex of Destiny. If we can find a way to read that, it might help us understand something about you. But for now, just understand this. You're changing the fate of everyone you meet. That could make you more powerful than anything that's walked this world. As dangerous as an open flame, you could help people or destroy them entirely. When you get involved, there's no grand cosmic plan. Only freedom, and all the dangers that come with it. And that means I owe you a... Wait. What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of God's law! Looks like some bombs. 